Right, we have made a distributor blanking plug using an old distributor that I chopped in half um, and then drew the shaft out, chopped it down even further so it wasn't standing at the same level or proud of this flange. Then I created a little cap out of a spare bit of aluminium. All we're going to do is we're just going to quickly fit that on the car now. Um, it should tidy up the engine bay a little bit and again create a touch more space. Um, let's get that on. Easy one to change. There you go, easy as I like. My air with a flat wheel make it look a little bit prettier. But loads of extra space. Oil pump should now be, or the gear for the oil pump be retained. Um, I've also ordered a blanking cap for this to remove the mechanical fuel pump. That's coming from a Renault 5 GT Turbo. Um, they don't have a mechanical pump on there. They just have a cap that blanks it all. Same as I think the C3J, the later single point injection version of this engine. So they haven't got one either. But yeah, piece of wee wee. Maybe hit it with a, like I say, a wire brush or something or a flat wheel. Dust it black. You won't even see it's there. Um, but that really should never ever have to come off again. So one of the next bits we wanted to delete was the mechanical fuel pump because we've got the uh, solid state item what I've got is a new gasket and this is a blanking plate um, I think it's for a Renault 5 GT turbo should fit this block so we're going to whip this one out, off and out of the way give it a clean fresh basket and a cap
And there we have it. The blank and plate fitted. Again, another thing deleted. Give more space in there. Yeah, hopefully over the weekend we'll get some more wiring done. So a little midway break on the video uh, and on the job. Um, where are we at? We've got the map sensor wired. We've wired in the cooling temp sensor. We've wired in the coil pack. We've laid the wiring in for the fuel pump, um, which comes back across. Obviously, it looks a bit of a mess. Um, still, uh, I've roughed out things with Velcro, really, just to get their locations for now. Uh, wiring loom is going to come up here. This will all be loom taped afterwards. You can see we've got some Raychem heat shrink on a lot of it as well. Um, we've got down here, we've got the crank pickup wiring, which I'll probably lay this way and across, um, trying to keep it away from any inter interference. Um, yeah, started unwiring the box, the fuse box and relay box for the things that I don't need because. Yeah, I've got one with six channels in it, or six relays, six fuses. Uh, realistically, I need three tops. Um, one, which is actually going to power the ECU. Um, and I think that's actually a shared feed to the coil pack. So I've got an ignition switch wire from the front, which will then take, uh, turn the relay on, which will then power the ECU um, and the coil pack. We've got an extra feed wire here from the battery terminal that comes right from the front of the car um, that feeds that feeds the whole block um, off there so yeah we've got the ECU which should be on number one relay number two relay is going to be used for the fuel pump which I need to add an extra wire into this to switch the relay on and off which will then feed the fuel pump so we'll be able to set that that when the car's actually running um, the fuel pump runs um, I can I think also add extra things if I put an oil pump sensor oil pressure sensor in to the ECU so that it only switches on and primes or pumps when there's oil pressure but that may actually make the process a bit longer for this car um, due to the fact that it's going to be carved still so it'll fill the car but I don't know we'll see how we go on I just need to remember that if the car's ignition on uh, fuel pump will be running at the moment and then I'll probably run another one for the electric fan now the electric fan um, I think it's Steve has said I wouldn't bother 
Um, it's it, They don't cope when flat out, though this is my daily driver. I don't drive it flat out as such. Um, a lot of the French guys run electric fans, um, just trying to get, get really efficient ones, and um, they have no issues. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an electric fan. Um, sorry, Steve, I know you, you give me advice and I usually don't take it to start with and then end up going back on it anyway, but I'm going to check an electric fan in um, purely so that I've got less things running across here that can damage any wiring. But, um, yeah, I still need to order that. So, yeah, I think from my end, I'm probably still another week or so away. Um, I've got to order some extra terminals for crimping onto the wires because I need to move one that I've used for the coolant temp sensor. Um, I need to add a couple of output wires, like I say, for the fuel pump and fuel for the, um, the rad fan. Um, the fact that I've got a coolant temp sensor there will allow me to set when I want it on and off as well, which is quite good. Um, but the coolant temp sensor is there for uh, warm-up um, idle speed, really, uh, more than anything. But yeah, we're, we're, we're probably... 30% through the job of rewiring this um, as you can see I've got all the inlet manifold and everything off as well I've got a few pinholes on the exhaust manifold uh, that I need to fill in um, and I need to modify the inlet manifold a little bit as well just to make it a little easier to get on and off uh, but yeah we're, 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 we're on to a winner halfway through 30% through this I guess still got lots of tinkering to do um, but like I said in the other video for you guys takes no time for me it's days and days but cool um yeah that's where we're at part way through could probably end the video now just put a little collation together so you get a part two and um part three will be the rest of the job and um, we'll probably end up back on the dyno as well because i'll get it roughly running uh, i'll probably need to use uh, um, a dyno to get it set properly to make sure everything's bang on but yeah that's where we're at so far the rest of the car's doing its rusty old looking thing um, missing driving it to be fair so I want to get this wrapped up quite quick but yeah that's where we're up to